This video is all about converting MIDI data into audio files that we can then process further in DP. So first of all, I already have Reason set up, rewired, with a rack going on here. And I've created an aux track to get that playback with the input of the auxiliary track set to Reason Mix and the output of the auxiliary track set to our built-in output or our speakers. And I also have a MIDI track which is um, sending its output to Reason into one of the synths I'd created and relabeled. And I've recorded some MIDI data here. In addition, I also have um, a MIDI and instrument track set up, which I did within DP. Um, and that has uh, the output of the bass MIDI track going to bass instrument, which I've relabeled onto this instrument track. And then the output of my instrument track goes to built-in output one and two, so again, so we can hear it. So what we want to do to make these into audio files is we want to um, be able to send them to an audio track and basically record them in DP from the outputs of wherever these sounds are coming from. So the first thing we want to do is create two stereo audio tracks. And the shortcut for that is Shift Command S. And on this first audio track, before I do anything else, I want to relabel these and also color code them so um, we can, you know, keep everything organized. Option click on each one of these. And the first one we can do strings audio. And the second one, bass audio. So we have strings MIDI and reason playback, and then strings audio, bass MIDI, bass instrument, bass audio. Um, and when we first create these, it's setting automatically the input to be the reason mix, but we're going to change that and we're going to do something different. So first thing that I want to route is the strings audio because it's our first track. And let me just color code these something a little bit different too. Um, so I want to send the output of our reason playback onto a bus that I can then route into the input of the audio track. So the first thing I'll do is select wherever that bus is. I'll just go with five and six. And we can go into um, Shift U and go into our bundles and relabel these buses if we like. So setting the output bus five and six, and then the input onto this audio track to bus five and six. So again, that playback is now being routed out of the auxiliary track and into the input of the audio track. And we'll do the same thing with um, with our bass. And remember, we want to take the output of the instrument track because that's where that playback is actually coming from. And we're going to send that output of the instrument track. We'll do it to bus seven and eight. and bus seven and eight. So as you can see, output going to bus seven and eight into bus seven and eight on the stereo audio track. Same thing with reason. So now we just want to be able to record these on to the tracks. So I'm going to record enable both of these and also input monitor both of them. And I'm just going to make sure my playhead is at the beginning. And now all I have to do now that these are record enabled and input monitored, and we don't want to um, record enable any of the MIDI tracks at this time, we're just record enabling the audio tracks. And once they're set up like this, all we need to do is press record. And now we have some audio tracks with our MIDI data. And it's as simple as that.